This video covers the embryonic development of the pancreas, and all the structures that you see here are derived from the foregut, which is derived from the endoderm itself. So here we have the stomach, the duodenum, gallbladder, ventral pancreatic bud, and the dorsal pancreatic bud. So during embryonic development, ventral pancreatic bud rotates and goes to the other side, fused with the dorsal bud, and forms the pancreas. So as you can see, the ventral bud contributes to the head of the pancreas, the main pancreatic duct, as well as the uncinate process. On the other hand, the dorsal bud gives rise to the body, tail, as well as the accessory duct of the pancreas. So accessory duct. Now there is a condition where the ventral bud may not fuse with the dorsal bud, and this is called pancreatic divisum. And thus the head will empty into the main pancreatic duct while the body and tail will empty into the accessory pancreatic duct. One important condition I would like to talk to you about is called annular pancreas. Where during rotation of the ventral bud, it rotates around the second part of the duodenum and thus it causes narrowing of the duodenum. So this is again called annular pancreas. All right, now that I spoke about the blockage of the second part of the duodenum, I would also like to talk about the blockage of the third part of the duodenum, which can be caused due to a narrow angle between the superior mesenteric vessels and the aorta. So if you can see here on this uh, CT image, we have the aorta right here, and the superior mesenteric artery right here. If the angle between these two vessels is too narrow, they would impinge on the third part of the duodenum and causes blockage. So just keep in mind that the annular pancreas blocks the second part of the duodenum, while a narrow angle between superior mesenteric vessels and aorta will block the third part of duodenum. So if this, this is the stomach and then it connects to the duodenum, this would be the first part of duodenum, second part, which is blocked by annular pancreas, and then third part, which would be blocked by the narrow angle between superior mesenteric vessels and the aorta. And that concludes our discussion.